So there's some leaked footage of Tucker Carlson talking to his makeup artist, and they were just sort of, it just seemed like friendly banter, but for some reason, a bunch of people are making a big deal about it. Let's watch. Can I ask you a question? You don't have to answer, it's personal. I'm not speaking of you, but more in general of ladies. When they go to the ladies' room and powder their noses, is there actually nose powdering going on? Sometimes. Ooh. I like the sound of that. Most of the time it's lipstick. Do pillow fights ever break out? You don't have to. Not, in, have the, to, not no. in the back. Okay, not in the back. Okay. <laughs> That'd be more a dorm activity. Okay. I mean, come on, that was harmless. It made him seem more human. But it doesn't stop there, although a lot of places like the Damage Report have stopped it there. A number of people have stopped it there, and it's kind of interesting. Look what he says after this. This is not even like territory. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you are such a good sport, such a good person. Thank you. I know you do, but you do not deserve that, and I mean it with great affection. I got you, man. Which way do you want to go? You want to be here? Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Let me tune in. So even though what he said was so tame, he still apologized for it. But that doesn't stop some people from going after him in a way that just doesn't make much sense to me. This is just the latest in a very long history of Tucker Carlson being very interested in what younger people are doing. Is there some rule where once you reach a certain age, you're no longer allowed to think about people that you might have thought about earlier in your life? I mean, I've always tended to go for people that are around my age now. <laughs> so um, I, I still think about people, you know, 40s, 50s, late 30s, maybe. But there are some people who have always been interested in those that and it look like they're in their 20s. And this is especially it is especially common when it comes to attractions to women. So I don't see this as some horrible thing that that he might have interests, uh, you know, in his thoughts anyway, in people in their 20s. That's that Bubba the Lo Love Sponge stuff that came out. He would frequently talk about young girls and stuff like that. Now he's fantasizing about dorm room pillow fights and everything. I'm just saying he is a part of a political movement that is very seriously, it's not a grifty thing, very seriously worried about grooming and the sexualization of children. And he himself has fantasized about it live on tape very many times during his life. That's all I'm saying. Tucker wasn't talking about children or grooming children. And now if you're going to go in this mode where 20 year olds are the same thing as young teenagers, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to argue with you at that point, if that's really your argument. I doubt that's your argument. But anyway, John's co-host, Brett, calls out John here in just a moment. Check it out. And it's pretty cool. No, a, no, this is stupid. No, it's all stupid. I hate to break it to everybody. This is all stupid. Like in my career, I've had you have different relationships with different makeup artists. Some of them get like way pervier than you. Some of yeah. them are just like, I don't want to do it. The key is that you identify like your rapport with that person. You default to not doing anything remotely close to what he's doing. But I don't know his relationship with his makeup artist. Well, I, look, Maybe you are right. Then. Hold, hold on. Like you, you're you, just assuming. Right. right. No, I'm not just assuming. I think that I'm using contextual information. No, dude, you're assuming a lot of things about him just because he thinks about younger girls. Do you have any proof he thinks about underage girls? Where has any of that come into place? Yeah, that's a huge assumption. Huge. I don't know. What's the most unsettling about this is it just there just seems to be a growing trend of demonizing straight male sexuality, especially if you look at people in their 20s or early 30s or whatever you you have this prime period in which to view the beauty of the human body and apparently you know you're you're supposed to like all this other stuff or or you're a male chauvinistic pig and it's just like <laughs> it's just strange i saw nothing wrong with what tucker did and you know to me it made him seem more human as far as i'm concerned but what do you think I mean, there's a number of things you can not like about Tucker, but is this one of them?